Well, there is no better place to hide from the winter storm descending on Boise, Idaho. Been watching two of the hottest teams in college basketball tonight. Boise State will put their NCAA leading 21 game home winning streak on the line against the 17th ranked Colorado State Rams. Welcome inside Extra Mile Arena. Jay Tuss alongside Boise State former sharpshooter Nick Duncan. Rebound. A few misses from both teams. See Colorado State continue to push on the offensive end, especially in transition. See Max Rice, beautiful up and under move to get the Broncos on the board. Max Rice, the baseline drive, shows off that he is more than just a shooter. He has really developed as an offensive player in his six years at Boise State. Nice take there by Neat Clifford. High percentage look here. Stevens over to Clifford. Down low, nice Beautiful. pass to Cartier for the easy bucket. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Three on the shot clock. Tyson drives baseline, tries to hit a running floater and does. Tyson Dagan Hartman checks into the game for the first time tonight. Roddy Anderson going to probe on offense. Going to kick it back out to Meadow. A corner three. Hits it. Big bucket for the true freshman coming right off the bench. Against San Jose State, heck, the whole bench was scoreless. They give him an early lift early in this contest, but it's Isaiah Hart. Dribbles in, spins baseline, high off the glass. Tyson Dagan. Resets the shot clock, but it's now down to 13. Neat Clifford attacks and lays it in. 15 on the shot clock. They work it around. Josiah Strong going to pull up from the free throw line and hits. Colorado back underway here. An early whistle coming out of that timeout. Omar Stanley, a one-on-one -on -one play. Going to attack Cartier. Gets him down low. Starting where he left off last game with it. Try to get that ball over top of you. Such a unique stat line for Omar Stanley in that game as Cartier comes back and gives him a little taste of his own medicine. Especially overseas, both of those guys did it twice in their respective careers. Only one of them did it in Mountain West Conference play. Here comes Strong back in the other direction. A strong the weekend. Utah State got the best of them, 77-72. Nico Medved said they don't have any time to dwell on it in conference play. They just got to simply learn and get better. So far they have the knife, and that's Chabuzo Abo with a contested two. Hit Thinking about it, guarded by Dagenhart. Over to Lake. Scott to Clifford. Clifford, little fadeaway jumper. Good. Wow. He is so tough, folks. Tough fadeaway jumper, but. Max from distance, nothing but the bottom. Isaiah Stevens is here, like I just said. Only two points, one of three shooting, one rebound, no assist. Chabuzo catches it down low and lays it up and in. Boise State back out in front. Lake going to try a tough fadeaway now, and he hits it. A consistent player. Missed a few games earlier this year, but you can see he is clearly dynamic. That would be a talking point for the Rams at the half, but it takes solace with only down two points. Nice inbounds pass to Tyson Dagenhart catches it down near the hoop, lays it right up and in. Boise State has a chance to extend what is their biggest lead of the game at the moment, up by five. Buzo rises over Clifford and buries the three. Boise State up eight over number 17, Colorado State. From Boise, Idaho. It said they, uh, they decided to, to travel back to the airport in Salt Lake and then take a flight up here. They were delayed coming out of there, so a four-hour bus ride turned into about a, a seven or eight-hour commute. Give it up, 10 on the shot clock. Boise State struggling to, to get into a rhythm on offense. It'll be Stanley with a little baseline jumper, though. Nothing but the bottom there. See him attack the basketball, but... His confidence right now is sky high and beautiful fadeaway jump shot as we see at the other end. Stevenson giving some back to the Broncos. As goes to the body, this is badly. Stevens now gonna push it up over midcourt. Gonna go right at the rim, hits the floater. Colorado State back within three. Lifting their energy a little bit, creating some deflections and turnovers from the Broncos. 
Five on the shot clock. Boise State hasn't gotten into anything offensively. Buzo's just going to throw it up, and it goes down. Chabuzo Abo beats the buzzer. Laps going the other way. Cartier with an easy layup. The Broncos get bailed out right there. A fresh 20 on the shot clock. Meadow comes off the screen from straight away. And the freshman connects again. His second three of the game. Pounding the rock with his right hand. Goes back to Meadow. He's going to try it again. The fearless freshman once again from three. Why not? Three from three from beyond the arc. And see here, another beautiful pass from Stevens. Connecting with strong with a strong finish. But Rams able to cap that off on the other end. And Omar Stanley gets that isolation. Takes it right at Scott and gets a pair. Scott now going to go right back at Stanley. Hangs. Rolls off the front end of the iron. But I think that was Palmer that came across there and was able to tip it back in. Leon had to walk across the Boise River in the middle of winter or ride a horse through campus just for a guy to get some attention. He no longer has to do that because he has the support. The double figures, he has 11 points. Boise State gets a stop on the defensive end and now they attack again on offense. Tyson Dagenhart goes baseline through contact. Give him one and the foul. Big bucket from Tyson Dagenhart. And Three point play. Andy. Every possession is valuable. Dagenhart's going to attack as the shot clock winds down and up and under. Move! Tyson Dagenhart gives the Broncos their largest lead of the game. 5.8 rebounds, 4.2 assists. I mean, the kid does it all. And you can tell he has had a nice response to his season after that was kind of an unfortunate start for him. Stanley backing his way down in, hits the short turnaround. The way, Stevens with the steal. Colorado State, if they're going to get back in this game, they've got to go now. Stevens with a tough runner in transition. Omar Stanley goes up for the dunk. Palmer with no other option but to go over and foul him rather hard. Stanley stays down for a moment, but he'll come up and be okay. I've, I've always been confident. I think what the, the key to his success is, as he explained, it, it's trust, right? Not necessarily the case at St. John's last year. Try the Mount, uh, first team all Mountain West. How about that? Colorado State finally ends their drought from distance. Five and a half minutes to go. Max Rice, Omar, oh my! Rice oops the alley to Omar Stanley and he comes down with the thunderous dunk. And encourage him. Tried not to play a ton of basketball, but as you know, he can only stay away. This is well wide of the rim to the right. And coming back the other way, that's strong. Over to Abo. Abba going to go into the lane, draws contact, and the foul. Chibuzo Abo at the free throw line. A 941 percentage winning percentage in the opening month of the year. The top. Isaiah Stevens back out. And Cartier spins into the lane. An open look from Clifford from the corner, and he connects. Clifford now into double figures. Max Rice going to launch, fires. Can't get it to go, but that's Tyson Dagenhart with the offensive rebound. Goes right back up and gets fouled. Down low. Well, big reason why is he gets to play next to a guy like Tyson Dagenhart. Tonight and three-headed monster down low and something to maybe allow Max to rest here on the defensive end. Cartier goes right at Stanley. Gets the friendly kiss off the back end. Defensive board and... Biggest possession here for the Rams on the offensive end. 
Stevens goes quickly, gets a good look and hits it. And a quick timeout by Nico Medved is all of a sudden Colorado State has rallied back to within four as they have hit four straight shots. Well, uh, this place was at full tilt and all of a sudden Colorado State is back to within four. Medved's boys are playing pretty well right now. Ball poked away. The Broncos escape a turnover. Rice runs into Clifford. Clifford going to pick up the foul. Only 2 of 12 overall from the floor, but he connects on both free throws. With four fouls, he'll take a seat. Andrew Meadow back into the game. Here comes Bronco Nation. Section 12 leaning into this thing as well. Isaiah Stevens, ball poked away by Omar Stanley. The 16th turnover of the game for Colorado State. The sixth turnover of the game. This might not seem like a big free throw, Nick, but I think that it is. And he can't get it to go. Roddy Anderson goes back the other way and picks up a pass. That was before any of us had unwrapped any Christmas gifts. A long three missed. Abba with the rebound. A big stop for Boise State. Tyson Dagenhart into the front court. Going to get trapped and call a timeout. It's funny to say that, but that really is Coach Rice through and through. He takes it day by day and focus on players development as well as development of the program each and every day. Rice looking for help, he'll find it in Andrew Meadow and Meadow's gonna get fouled. Probably of everybody you have on the floor right now is the guy you want to send to the free throw. Assistant coach Mike Burns, how well Meadow played against VCU and St. Mary. Players love to have on his team. Both of them, bottom. Meadow out, Roddy Anderson in. And Steven so quick, into the front court, off the side of the backboard. Boise State ball, and you got a feeling that might be it. Jackson quickly fouled for this season. The Nevada Wolfpack, 14 and one. Tricks following this game, they're 70th in the net at this moment. They do have a quad one win. Their victory on a neutral court over St. Mary's currently counting, but this would easily be the biggest victory of the season, giving them a huge boost to their resume come Selection Sunday. Big bucket from Isaiah Stevens there. Bart Torvik, who does a number of awesome splits that I've paper for him. Takes a breath, releases. Max Rice somehow comes up with the offensive rebound, and he'll go back to the free throw line. Back to the line for the Broncos. Got to bring up Roddy, though, once again. Yes, I know he's had a tough second best plus minus of anyone wearing blue and orange tonight. Max Rice hits both free throws. He now has snuck into double figures with 11. Again, Boise State six and one this season when he gets into double figures, about to be seven and one. Lake for three. And a quick timeout from Nico Medved with 12.7 seconds to go in a seven point game. On Rice, 15 and nine all time against the Rams as the leader of the Broncos. They try to trap, and it actually looks like now Colorado State is gonna call it off. Let them have it, Bronco Nation. The second highest ranked win in program history at home as the fans rush the court. The Broncos take down 17th ranked Colorado State, 65-58 the final. The 22nd straight win at home for the Broncos, the longest active streak in the country, rolls on.